Today, we're gonna react to some scary but funny video. My name is Benjamin and welcome to another video. <laughs> Boom, well, that was violent. I hope she's okay. Did anybody check her story? Cause that was a violent elephant punch. The elephant was like, lady, don't just take pictures of me like that. I hope she's okay though. That was a pretty violent hit. Next. Oh, that is scary. There was a little tiny crocodile. I mean, what would you do when a tiny little crocodile jumps on your face? I know what I would do. I would scream like a little girl. That's why. Next video. <gasps> Dolphins, you think they'd be cute. They come for a pet. But this one was like, dude, get out the way. Get out the way, dude, get out the way. It was like one of those big dudes at the gym. You know, like, buy him. Get out of my way, man. One, two, three. Now here's my little question. Why would you go and take your own car to a safari? Where would you do that? You don't take your own car to a safari, you rent a car. I wish they could show us the side of the car though. I wanna see that kind of damage. You know, I used to watch movies about this. That's some scary stuff, man. This little buggers will peel your face in like 10 minutes flat. I'm talking about face lift from the dark side of nature. <laughs> He's eating apples from his <laughs> <laughs> like he took the man's apple, crashed his car. Who does that? What kind of elephant does that? That was a big ass demon, evil twisted elephant. Okay, to be honest here, I don't even understand what I just saw there. I don't know if anybody can confirm. Is that hippopotamuses? Hippopotamuses? Hippopot hippopotamus? Hippopotamus? That was weird in my mouth. Anyway, I'm not sure what that was. Definitely was scary. I've been screaming my ass off to get out of there if I'd see something like that. And I've seen Jaws. I've seen how that ends. a big snake maybe as a python maybe anaconda seems like in the tropical jungle that is some scary i will be like no how do you even fight something like this smash it with a broom i'll move to another city Pfft, goodness gracious even to another country come out this way hopefully my, my brother could do something that'd be great yeah but why why can't they come and like you know challenge have a new trick coming out yeah sheldon fox in Westchester. <laughs> now imagine you play soccer on the street, you drop your ball into a canal like that, and just when you're about to go down, you see this. What do you do? What do you do? Now you tell me what you do, because I know what I do. And jumping in there is not one of those things. Uncle Arnie, the alligator, is about to give you a smooch. Ah, sweet one. <laughs> 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 Now holy darn it, if, if this would happen to me, I would definitely quit my job. I bet this guy took the rest of the day off after something like this. I'd be scared for weeks. What are you talking about? I wouldn't even go back to work. I don't care how much they pay me. <laughs> what in the disgusting shit is that? No, I, it's not harmful because he's just doing it. That is disgusting. Love it. <laughs> Mm, take that scooter. Now according to what I know what elephants have to go through in this country, I don't blame them. Man, they take down all of them. It's horrible. It's horrible. But nature bites back. Yeah, baby. Okay, I gotta be honest, this is funny. This is funny. That was like an automated game where cows and bulls cannot just jump out. So the dude just took a chance. I don't blame him. Go wild, run free, feel the breeze on your face. Enjoy life. You go, little fella. What did that guy have in his truck? It must have been something really delicious. And that elephant saw it. Boom, boom, bam. No more canopy. <laughs> <laughs> was that a llama? I don't even know. It looked like a llama. Can anybody confirm is that a llama? It's not as fluffy as a llama, but it looked like a llama. And it spits like a llama. That guy got a little dose of moisturizer straight from the llama bottle. I'm sure it's got a lot of vitamins and good bacteria in there. It's all natural. Approved. Go in. Let's go in. Here it comes. Okay, okay. Go on. He's huge. Go on. 
Now, I'm a, you know, a little fuzzy on this one. How did that bear get into a car, lock the door, and close the window? I'm sure it can happen, but how did that happen? I, I want to know. It's a curious case. I mean, the bear broke the window. That costs a lot of money. Who's going to pay for that? I'm sure it's not the bear because he's just trolling out of there like bye bye. I hope the dude got insurance, though. Going up the tree. There you go. There you go. Going up that tree. There you go. Can you make it? Ooh, that was a sweet moment. Very romantic. Releasing the squirrel into the wild. That was beautiful. Until the cat came along. Snatched that little monkey off the tree. Horrible ending. Horrible ending. You save the squirrel, you're being a good human. And your cat comes along and cancels everything. And that's one reason why I like dogs even more. All right, that was just so cute on so many levels. First of all, where did he get a stick? How did he learn how to do that? Because that was pretty entertaining. And it seemed like somebody taught him, didn't he? What if nobody taught him? What if he just did it? Isn't that interesting? This was beautiful and funny. Hey, this guy is the caranguejo of the city of Nier. Oh, the this dude just escaped from a restaurant. And people be aware he's got a knife and he's ready to use it. I'm sure he's been studying all the cooks, trying to cook him and cut him into pieces and cutting his friends into pieces. He learned how it's done. The dude got a knife because he knows how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Badass military, if you ask me, you can't even take down a swan. These people should take like swan takedown lessons. It may not happen, but what if it does? You ready for it? This is some Indiana Jones type of nonsense. The last one with the crystal skulls and stuff. And the freaking ants like make a bridge and lift each other up so they can eat those people. That's crazy. And it's based on real facts. Déjalo que suba hasta la cabeza y te lo quitas, hombre. Ahí se te va a coger todo. I have so many questions, so many questions. How does this happen? This dude is in a sticky situation. Are these things really as sticky as they show us in the cartoons? Do they really stick to you like that? And this guy is having a battle of his life just to take it off his back. My guess they're pretty sticky. Looking at this video, the struggle is real, man. Anyway, we'll try to get the rest of the story to see what happened. We'll keep you updated. And we're recording. So we've just been looking for Barramundi um, out here and doing a Yukos Wild Tour. And we've just been spe spearing Barramundi. Gotta be careful because at the end of the day, this is salt water crocodile country. You can see how crystal clear this water is. And guess what, guys? And then guess what we saw? Yeah, mate, listen here, crocodile Dundee. Don't you swim in that river. Did you see the size of that thing right underneath them? It looked like a log. That is some scary stuff. I guess it's true what they say about Australia, that everything there that is alive is trying to kill you. Proof right here. I believe it. Oh, look at that, that's just so cute. It's like the dog and the bear were playing like a game of tag. Yeah, I'm sure he was going to like a really bloody ending, but that looked fun, right? They were having fun chasing each other in the yard. Yeah, here's a piece of advice. Keep your dogs in the house if you live in an outdoor setting like this one. If you love your dog, keep it in the house. Dude, that was some scary stuff. That puma or cougar, whatever it was, talking on that dude while he was running and jogging. I mean, we don't know what happened next. That dude is in for a serious jogging session. I'm telling you that. Goodness great. Dangerous stuff. I love it. Fucking shit, I'm going to get my hand Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened, but I can suspect that hippopotamus was chasing this guy. Do you know hippopotamuses are one of the most dangerous animals in safari? Did you know that? These things are dangerous and they run really fast. Even though they are so big, they can run fast. Man, I'm telling you this, even lions run away from this thing. Woo! Now, that was a face-to-face -face encounter with a very unusual experience called death. I mean, how does one come face-to-face -face with a bear when you get out of the house? Where does that happen? That's a good way to increase your adrenaline in the morning, isn't it? I'd rather choose coffee, by the way. That seems more agreeable to, you know, my lifestyle. Are you taking my sleeping bag? <laughs> Is 
deadline was just trying to wake somebody up for a midnight snack. And he was like, yo, you brought the snack? No, I thought you were the snack. No, you are the snack. That's some scary stuff. So be aware if you engage in a safari action. You know what I mean? You get a little kiss from this dude. And he can coast you like half of your face. Not good. Anyway, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Thanks for hanging out. Hope to see you next time.